I'm Ollie and a psychologist with the team here. So probably the mainly we're looking at how do we prepare athletes and then also the, the team supporting them uh, to deal with uh, the pressure of competition and be able to train uh, effectively and when it comes to competing be able to complete their skill. Like we know they can all shoot really well uh, but can you do it in the kind of the biggest moments and when it matters most. So a huge one will be uh, looking at routines. Um, can they have a very well trained and uh, well prepared routine both for pre-shot, um, a way of kind of very quickly processing that and moving on to the next one. So the ability to refocus whether you've hit or missed, how do you kind of turn your attention to the next shot, which is the most important one. Uh, and then routines for getting prepared for a round as well. Um, and then how we'll look to do that will be, you know, on the <coughs> our training, uh, having really clear, breaking it down into what the different elements and looking to get that so it's a bit more automated and then beginning to stress test some of that so putting them in different situations they might face and how do they handle those we go through kind of those different scenarios how do they respond um, under kind of increasing levels of pressure so I'd say quite a lot of our top athletes are actually quite different um, I wouldn't say there's one thing that, that you have to have. The kind of like a goldfish memory can definitely be helpful. So the ability to, you know, forget what's happened, move past it, accept it, move on, refocusing on the next thing. Being adaptable to different situations. I think we can all shoot when it's nice and sunny. Well, I can't, but people, you know, good shooters can shoot when it's nice and sunny, there's no wind. But actually, you know, how do you not blame conditions and just focus in on what you've got to do? So having that adaptability is really key. And then it's having a mindset where you're willing to learn and you're willing to work hard. So with each athlete, it will uh, vary. So we'll have their individual athlete plans um, agreed. Obviously, uh, here in Shotgun, it will be... Um, once they're kind of out on the range itself, it's quite difficult to actually have much involvement. There might be one or two hand signals, but to be honest, it's very little. So before the round, I'll normally try and check in with an athlete, um, just make sure, you know, clear on the plan, clear on what, what they're focusing on, clear on what they've got to go do. And then afterwards, when the time's right, they might come and have a bit of reflection with me, whether that be after each round or at the end of the day. Um, what we'd normally look to do is myself and the coach agreeing how best we work so you know we're not having the same conversation five times um, but yeah and then after each competition we look to debrief take the learnings what do we need to do going forward um, so that you know the next competition it's an, a constant improvement I think definitely having those rich conversations where the athlete can come away feeling like either they've embedded something further or they've learned something new discovered something to try uh, whether or not it works kind of a bit less worried about that but if the process they're going through is better and if they're able to yeah have had an open honest conversation where we can say right we've really worked hard in this area here's what we're going to try going forward this is what we're going to do let's go go execute on it in the sessions in conversations with myself and same with the coach we need them to be honest because as you can imagine, we, we can't know what's going on in their head. So we need them to tell us, and okay, that's a vulnerable position to be in, but if they are able to talk through, you know, in that moment I was feeling this and that distracted me, it led me to move you know, away from what I needed to be doing, we can work with that. And so that's really important. So the relationship between a psychologist and the athlete, the coach as well in that is really important to be able to get some good work done. Yeah, so if you, if you aren't unlucky enough to have someone like me to work with, I would uh, I'd suggest finding a way to reflect on what you're doing. Reflection is a great way to learn. So whether that be, yeah, like you say, a conversation with a parent at the right time. Um, you know, sometimes that car ride home, you just want to forget about it. But finding the right time to reflect on what went on for you is important. You may prefer it on your own. So a bit of journaling or something like that can be really um, good, but just finding an avenue where you can be honest and reflect 
so that then you'll get so much more learning from that rather than something happening and you just move past it and kind of just hope it's different the next time. You want to just be able to you know, guarantee it's going to improve as you go through. I think, so a phrase I always love and share with athletes is this idea of we always compare our internal world with everyone's external world. So we can feel like we're the only ones feeling nervous or feeling the pressure and everyone else looks really calm on the surface. But we don't know what's going on inside. So accept that you're going to feel nervous, accept that you know, you're going into something where there is a bit of judgment and where you want to do well. And that's good. You know, that's what we do sport for. If it was, if it was guaranteed win every time, that'd get pretty boring. So actually we, want, we like that bit of uncertainty, that's what sport can offer. So as cheesy as it sounds, embrace it. Go with it, don't try and deny those feelings. But then, you know, when you've gone through that stage, bring yourself back to you know, what do I need to go out and execute? What do I need to focus in on? And you know, have some fun as well. I'd like to think, you know, still some, some really good work to come. Probably always worth checking in with the athlete on that one, but definitely can think of times at competitions where certain you know athletes may be struggling or just just need a bit of reinforcement like they all know what they need to do but under pressure we sometimes get a bit clouded so yeah you know we've been lucky to have some really great great memories so far and yeah look forward to building some more